Greetings dear viewers, welcome. Today's poem is Petrosian Botvinnik and First Win. To give you a background, this is a game played between Mikhail Botvinnik and Tigran Petrosian in the 1963 World Chess Championship and this is the game 5 of the championships. In this game, um, Petrosian shows why he is considered as the master of positional play and shows his brilliant end game technique. Not only that, there are a lot of uh, analysts who say that Petrosian's ability was to sense the opponent weakness very quickly and act on it slowly but surely. This is a model example of the style of Tigran Petrosian and the fact that he was able to do it against an opponent of the quality of Mikhail Botvinnik is definitely, definitely applaudable. Uh, I want to take you through some key moments of the game and uh, I'll also tell you why it is called as first win later. So first let us get into the key moments of the game. The first moment that I want to take you through uh, is this particular uh, position on the board wherein Tigran Petrosian goes for a very modest and a silent system against the aggressive Grunfeld defense of Michael Botwini. He could have taken C into D5, Knight into D5, E4. He could have entered that variation, but he goes for a very silent, uh, very slow setup with E3, Bishop E2, not taking um, the pawn on D5. This shows that Petrosian was trying to pull Botwini to his uh, territory. And the other thing that I want to take you through is this particular position. In the preparation of uh, Tigran Petrosian, this position was already there and he sensed that in this particular position, even though Botwini has entered this end game he knew that the weakness on e6 is going to be quite crucial and he analyzes saying that the squares on the front of e6 namely e5 and e4 are going to be crucial because it cannot be defended by pawns mainly they are called weak squares so petrosian was able to analyze this precisely and the next one that i want to take you through is this particular moment in the game petrosian sacrifices a pawn but when he plays rook h1 Petrosian ignores the pawn on h2 playing knight e4 and then gives up the pawn for the activity of the king and David Bronstein says that this is a very courageous decision by Tigran Petrosian. Normally Petrosian is considered to be extremely solid, cautious but this is a very rare example of how when he sees a weakness he is alert tactically also to exploit it even if it is giving the pawn uh, in the sense not giving the pawn per se but uh, he was a pawn up but he knew that he has to give up the h2 pawn it's no use defending that he goes with his king to e5 he plants his knight on e4 like how he assessed rightly that the front the squares in front of e6 which is a weak pawn are going to be available for his pieces and he does exactly that and if you see the final position this is a final position in which Putwinik resigns and you can see the activity of the king. The king has gone to g8, which requires a great understanding to ensure that the king walks to the last rank when the opponent pieces are also there. And the reason why I called it first win is even though it's game five of the World Chess Championship, uh, Petrosian says that it is very memorable for him because this is the first time that he has won against Potvinik in an official event and he did win uh, in a great style and a typical Petrosian style. And uh, Gary Kasparov appreciates, applauds Petrosian saying that to do it against a quality of opponent like Botvinnik, to making it look so easy is definitely something uh, which gives a testimony of, of Petrosian strength. So this is a poem about this particular game and uh, since I showed you the key moments it will be easier for you to understand. Let us get started with the poem. A quiet and modest variation was Petrosian's selection to play against Botvinnik's Grunfeld defense which did entail a minor expense. The opportunity to obtain equality by black was well within the track. Petrosian with his preparation had anticipated the ending, which at first glance may look boring, but the prospects of the weakness of E6 in Black's camp may make him cramp. The 34th move N4 was praised by Bronstein, where he spoke about the initiative game admiring Petrosian's pawn sacrifice as courageous decision and his brilliant chess vision. 
The endgame handled masterfully by Petrosian, with calculated aggression, ensured that he won his first game against Potvinnik, show, showcasing his impeccable technique. The full poem is in the description and I've also given the link to the game if you are interested to check it out. Thanks for your time.